coming up, how you can easily manage your business meeting schedule using Notion, plus a free Notion template. Hi, and welcome back. I'm Andy Gort, a real estate investor and business owner. I don't know about you, but my diary is often jam-packed with meetings, calls, events, and other commitments. And I used to find it really difficult to track those meetings and manage the various notes and agendas. That's before I started using Notion. Notion is a brilliant all-in-one productivity tool and I've made tons of videos about it, so do check out my channel. In this video, I'm gonna take you on a tour of my meeting manager template to show you how it works and to give you some ideas. Plus later on, I'll share with you a link so that you can download it for free. I've added timestamps down into the description so that you can hop about and find the bit that you need but other than that, let's get going. So first up is the quick actions within the template. So as you can see here on the left-hand side, I've got a quick action section. Um, and here we can quickly do a couple of different things. Um, so you may firstly want to get out, go and add a new blank meeting. So if I just go and click on this um, icon here, it will firstly give you a little prompt just to make sure that you want to add it. So if we just select yes, um, it goes and uh, creates a new entry into the uh, meeting database uh, and it also makes, gives it the provisional tag um, for status, which means that it's not confirmed. You may still be waiting to hit other people's availability, um, but we just want to get a little placeholder in. So let's just give this a test. So let's say we're gonna have a, a group uh, uh, meeting like this. Uh, we could just say the attendees, so that's gonna be myself. Um, and we could add in perhaps one other person like Marge. Now we then want to go and set the date and time. So let's put it for a week's time, so the 15th of August. Uh, let's just say that this is going to be a face-to-face -face meeting and we can give it a location just by typing in here. So let's say uh, meeting room, oh, meeting room one. Um, how often is this gonna happen? So let's just say this is an ad hoc, so it's like a one-off meeting. Uh, department is, we could say it's just a general team meeting. Um, then we've got this checkbox, which is, uh, is preparation required? So do you need to go and write an agenda or do you need to go and get input from other people? Uh, so let's leave that blank. And then lastly, are there any high level notes you want to appear? So this is a catch up on goal progress. Just so people know vaguely what the meeting is. Um, so once you've done that, just go and click off it. So if I click to the side, uh, and we can now see here that we've got a group meeting in for uh, next week uh, with the provisional um, status. Um, so that's how you can use the first um, little button. Uh, the next one um, is slightly different. Again, it adds a new meeting, but in this case, it also uses a template. So if I again click on the button, uh, we have the same prompt. Um, but here, um, you can see that it's loading something, and this is actually using a predefined template. Um, so again, you'd put in all the same details, but here it's got some more questions in the body as well. Um, it's also put that it's a monthly meeting. Um, so this is used one of the templates. And if I just click out of this uh, event, uh, here just within the calendar, if I go to where new is, you'll see here we've got a team member one-to-one -one, um, template. And if I open that up by clicking edit, you can see that it's got the questions. Um, so that's how you can use a template to go and speed up and give you some prompts. And you could have loads of different types of meetings. So you may have a team meeting, you've got a one-to-one, -one. there could be a finance catch-up, uh, there could be a uh, business director's um, template. Uh, and then if you just go and duplicate these buttons by right-clicking, or sorry, left-clicking on the six dots and then go duplicate, uh, you could then go and uh, use the uh, cog here. Uh, we could give it a different name. So let's say add new um, uh, finance um, catch-up. Uh, and then we could also go and say add page to meetings. And this is where you would go and select the different templates so that you've created. Uh, so it's a really easy way that you can go and quickly add new meetings in straight from this sort of dashboard um, to become a lot more um, efficient um, in uh, whatever you do. Secondly, we've got the meeting calendar and we've got various views here. Um, so this one is uh, labeled as a summary and you'll see it's got like the calendar symbol. Um, so this shows you um, the month view and you can see all the meetings that you've got coming up along with their status. So the finance summary for last week, that one's complete. So if I open that one, uh, we can see that it was on the second, uh, what was the link, um, department, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. Um, And that one's now set to complete. Then we've got uh, a meeting coming up tomorrow, which is a team catch up, which is scheduled. Um, so if I open that one, uh, we can see that um, it was originally provisional. Now it's scheduled um, and uh, all the people that are attending it. 
There's also one for Friday, um, and uh, here we've got a couple for uh, next week, including that one that we've just created. Now you can actually create meetings directly from the calendar. Um, so if you just click here on a plus as you hover over each of the days, if I click, for example, here on the 17th, click the plus, you can see that the date is automatically uh, entered. So that's the 17th of August. Um, so that's a summary view. We've also got a summary, but a week view. So if you wanted to see a little bit more um, of a uh, just a week coming up, you can use this summary here. And then we've also got the same but detail view. So if I open this for the next month, um, within each of the various events, we've also got the department, the status, uh, whether it's online or face-to-face, -face, um, the link or the location, and is any preparation required, uh, just in that checkbox. And again, we've got that in a month view, um, and then we've also got that in a detail view, but for the week uh, instead. So you can see the uh, the various um, events coming up. I really hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, please do give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. Lastly, on the left-hand side, you'll see that we've got various sections uh, for different groupings of meetings. So lastly, we've got upcoming meetings. So these are anything that are on or after today. So um, we've got four here that you can see in the diary. Uh, we've also got four here on the uh, left-hand side. Um, so if you wanted to quickly go and jump into any of these um, to maybe go and add some notes, um, you can obviously do it from the calendar or from the list here on the uh, left hand side. Um, and that gives you a quick view of all of the meetings coming up. Then we've got the preparation required. So this is where um, maybe you've got a bigger meeting coming up, perhaps there are more people attending and you want to go and get their thoughts, you need to get people to submit agenda items, you may need to go and do some preparation um, before the meeting. Um, so that's why there's this little uh, checkbox. Um, so this is preparation required. So the one-to-ones um, and the finance plan review, um, those don't need any preparation, but the team catch-up does. Um, and that's why it's got the checkbox. Um, so that's almost like a bit of a to-do list just to let you know that you need to go into this one. And maybe you need to just go and create a new agenda. Um, so it might be um, updates, um, um, uh, issues, and then any other business. Um, so just go and write a little agenda for that one. And then once you've actually done the prep, you can then go and untick that box uh, and then if I click off um, you'll then go and see that it's removed from the preparation required section. Um, you can actually tick this or untick it in here as well so if I just go and click prep required here um, it will put it back into that section. So you can do it from uh, either location, um, depending on how you're getting on. And then finally, we've got a past meeting. So this is just a list. So if you did want to refer back to previous meetings, as um, so we've currently got the finance summary here for July 23, which we can see took place on the 2nd of August. Uh, that's listed under past meetings. And if I was to move, for example, this Friday meeting into the past, so there to the fourth, uh, you can see that it also appears uh, on the left hand side. Clearly, if you have um, a lot of meetings, um, this list here for past meetings could get uh, quite long. Um, so we can actually go and modify the filter. So currently, um, it says here on the left hand side, basically the date is on or before today. So that would list all previous meetings. Um, but let's go and tweak it. So we could say um, that actually the start date is relative to today. And let's just say we want to include the last month's meetings. Here, we can say it's the past, and then let's call it months here, and then let's just say uh, the past month. So it's basically before today. Um, and that's how you can see now that in here, if I just save that, the finance summary is listed because that's one month previous to today. And then if I was just to go and add this one, um, that would also put it into the past meetings. So you can clearly see the power of Notion, its flexibility around searching, around filtering, um, being able to move things in either a different different um, style, so a calendar um, or lists, um, and also the power of their automation buttons. Um, so it's a great little template, but it will really help you to go and organize your meetings and the associated notes um, and uh, agendas, etc. I mentioned at the start of the video that you'll be able to download this template for free. So all you need to do is just head to this link here um, and you'll be able to download that for free. Um, and do let me know in the comments, how do you get on? What do you think? Um, are there any changes or improvements that you'd make? Um, I'd love to hear because I will try and incorporate those into future versions, which you'll also get access to as well. Now you know how to easily manage your business meetings in Notion, why don't you check out this video here where you can find out how to use standard operating procedures or SOPs to outsource work in your business using Notion.